Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Pokemon Yellow version. I have trained up my Lapras. Yay. Uh, interesting fact, Lapras actually has the third, I think, highest HP out of all 151 original Pokemon. And he now knows Ice Beam, Body Slam, Psychic, and Surf. That's pretty much all he's going to be learning. But we are about to take on a gym. So, let's see... Let's move Sam Slash out. Because he hasn't gotten enough air time lately. And that makes me sad. So yeah, this will be our sixth gym battle out of eight. And this time they're packing Psychic types. And whereas there's really no good strength against them, we'll just have to do our best. You know, champion making. Sabrina's Pokemon use Psychic Power instead of Force. Fighting Pokemon are weak against Psychic Pokemon. They get cream before they can even name a punch. That is true. Now I want to try to beat all the trainers. If I don't, oh well. Sabrina's young, but she's also our leader. You don't reach her easily. Because I totally forget how. Actually. So this is our first look at a Psychic, and I do believe this is one of the only places you'll find him. But, I probably should have been using Pikachu. Oh well. <coughs> oh, sorry. I woke up with a sore throat. <clears throat> but, that's neither here nor there, because we are not kicking ass. Oh, another Slowpoke. Well, Never a better time to use Pikachu, huh? That's right, yo. Thunderbolt. <laughs> well, that did her. Good job. Here's a cookie. Let's use Slowbro. Um, Slowbro is actually a pretty good Pokemon. I saw Jethro attacks use him in his main team. And it was rather impressive, really. I've never seen anyone actually use Slowbird before. But he did it very nicely. Well, of course you did. Douche. We. Does our Unseen Power scare you? No, because I have three Pokemon with Unseen Power. <laughs> Kadabra. See, this is why I pack Sand Slash. Because Sand Slash is amazing. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm probably just going to be doing only the gym in this video. I don't know. I guess it depends on how I'm feeling. I might try to make it to Cinnabar. I haven't decided yet. But, uh, it's pretty routine. A lot of these Pokemon have secondary types. So if you can counter them, all the more power to you. Uh, slash again. I like sharing some of the fun, but Sandy Slash hasn't gotten enough lovely recently. Did I even say that right? Like, uh, I know I stumbled near the end, but did I say that right? Uh. Kadabra, keep with it. Kick his ass, Mousy. Get him. Yeah. Right on. Goodbye. Critical hit rate for the win. I think they nerfed the critical hit rate on Slash in later versions. Just a thought. They probably did. Ooh. Keep it up. Saffron Pokemon Gym is famous for its psychics. You want to see Sabrina? I can tell. Well, yeah, I mean, why else would somebody come to a Pokemon Gym unless they wanted to fight the leader? Oh, piss balls. That's not good. Um, let's see what I got here. I don't like switching out Pokemon in the middle of the actual fight because it drastically endangers the one you throw out. Why are you dying so easily? Take Earthquake. 
That probably is a good effect. I don't know why I didn't use it. Probably not, though. Nope. Oh well. That's the warning. Up all y'alls. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh! Found Sabrina. Not yet. Remember where that is. Ooh. Well, that was fun. Dog one take on the appearance of the trainers. Your Pokemon must be tough then. Or my Pokemon could be like 10 years old and very squishy because I never do any of it myself. No, I don't have any color left. Damn it. Hello, Haunter. Well, how unfortunate for you that you're part poison. Eat Earthquake. <coughs> uh. I love Earthquake. Sam Slash King level 43! Sam Slash can learn one more move, and I think it's at like 44 or 46 or something like that. But in all, uh. He knows all I'm going to teach him. I think everyone except for like Ben and Moth knows everything I want to teach him. Oh, and Nigel's. Hmm. I can use Ben and Moth. I haven't in a while. Um, it literally only took me like half an hour to train up Lapras. I went to the Diglett Tunnel, and uh, I used uh, four four thousand percent speed. I know that sounds kind of willy nilly, but it really worked out. I gained like five levels at a time. Not per fight, but like before I ran out of PP with all my moves, I usually gained like five levels early on, and then it got kind of difficult. Oh fuck me! Wake up! Just don't use it again. He's probably going to aim for Dream Eater. Or, you know, nice shade works too. It'll only do 33 damage. I came up with that. Sighting. So mean... Excuse me. Yes, I'm still under the weather. Damn it all. But, uh. You can see the mixture of ghost and psychic types in here. Uh. I don't know why that is. Couldn't tell you, but it's kind of silly. I wonder if Bug's strong against Ghost or Poison. I don't think it is. I think Poison's actually strong against Bug. Oh, hello, Haunter. Sorry, dude. <coughs> oh, blow me. Stupid face. Yay, yeah, win. Is Psybeam the strongest psychic attack? No, psychic is. Which is ironic. But, uh... I lost after all. Yes, you have. How nice to have. Still one more trainer I want to fight. Right, as soon as I get to him. Oh, come on now. <laughs> there he is. I think there might be one above Erica also. Erica. Sabrina. You know that power alone isn't enough. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> but I have plenty of it. Mr. Mime, why am I using any Venom off for this? Oh, wait, because Mr. Mime doesn't know any psychic moves. And I know Bug Move. That means I win. And he even heals me. Oh, please. That's what makes Mr. Mom a very pathetic psychic type. In my opinion, he has plenty of the defensive moves, such as Barrier, right there. But that's all he has. And it's kind of sad, really. No one who uses Psychic Pokemon in this game actually used them well. <coughs> and again, that, that's a crying shame, because, like, Psychic is, aside from Dragon, the strongest type in this game. And you may be asking what the hell a dragon is at this point because we haven't bought one. But they exist. And we'll be fighting them shortly. 
Well, not until near end game, but whatever. <laughs> like, second to last battle. I don't believe this. I do. You suck. Must find middle trainer. There you are. Sabrina is younger than I, but I respect her. Good. Because quite personally, she could kill all of you. Not really. It's kind of sad how she isn't very good. Ah! My bladder has decided to defect. Damn you, bladder. Hurry up with the battle, hurry up with the battle. At least get to Sabrina. This is embarrassing. Ah. Hello, Hunter. As if talking to my computer wasn't embarrassing. But I totally am right now. Because you know it's totally what LPRs do. Um, if anyone hasn't checked it out, go watch uh, Matt's Pokemon Wide LP. He's actually doing really good. And he has a pretty unique team. I've never seen some of the Pokemon he uses actually used. So, level 43! Trying to learn Sleep Powder. I'm gonna stick to Stun Spore. Nope. Yes. Whew. Not good enough. Oh, of course not. Now I'll go back the way I came. Down. This way. Wrong. Down again, I guess. Not like this. I'm wrong. Oh, so wrong. Now if I go up like that, and then over here, and then up like this. No, that is wrong. It's down. There we go. Give me a sec. Sorry about that. Um, went back and healed my Pokemon while I was at it. And all things considered, let's start off with Lapras. Because you haven't yet got to see him. I had a vision of your arrival. I've had psychic power since I was a child. I first learned that Ben spoons with my mind. I dislike fighting, but if you wish, I will show you my powers. Thus begins... Boss fight number 6 against Sabrina, who has 3 Pokemon. Abra is a joke, even though it's level 50. Worry not. Body slam. Ah, she's smart. <laughs> Not smart enough. Have a nice day. Aww, ice beam. Um, Abra itself, I do not believe, can attack. So, it's really a waste of her time. Next up is Kadabra. As per usual. Body slam. Damn, she's smart. Ah, that's annoying. Body slam again. Oh, you snoot. I don't like you. Awesome. And he ate it. Big time. Yeah, Lapras. And finally, Alakazam. Now, this is a Pokemon I think we'll only see one other time in the entire game. Not really all that impressive. I mean, all for Pokemon level 50. Alakazam itself is probably the second strongest psychic type in the entire game. And it shows. However, it's sort of, I don't know, hard to obtain and I find it pointless because he just bit it like a bitch. Sabrina down. I'm shocked, but a loss is a loss. I admit I didn't work hard enough to win. You were in the Marsh Badge. Damn right I did. The Marsh Badge makes Pokemon up to level 70 obey you. Stronger Pokemon will become wild, ignoring your orders in battle. Don't just raise your Pokemon too much. Wait, please take this TM with you. We keep TM 46? 46 is Psy Wave. It uses powerful psychic waves to inflict damage. And sometimes confuse targets, which is pretty okay in my book. But, onward and outward. <laughs> There we go. That wasn't too hard. Now, so, if I had a town map, I would show you that we pretty much covered the entire main continent in the game. 
Let's go heal up really quick, even though Lapras doesn't really need it. He did get hit by Psy Wave and Psychic from Alakazam, and that's really all he got hit by. Shameful, shameful, shameful. That was a gym battle. Damn. That's sad. Um, but yes. So, we are now off to Cinnabar Island, and I will, uh, take us back to, uh, Pallet Town. And then end the video, because, meh. Why not try to get somewhere new in this video? The fastest way back, albeit the only real way back, is through Diglett Cave. Unless you have Fly, which I don't. Because I'm lazy. But, uh, yeah. You go through Diglett's Cave to get back to, uh, Pewter, and then you just head south from there. Which is pretty cool. Now, if only I had a repel to make this trip a little easier on me. Hmm. Well, I do have a bike. Just checking. Just checking. Just check. Nope. Okay. I'll take it. <coughs> God damn it, one step. Really? You guys didn't get enough abuse earlier? Shit. Well, sorry I didn't kick your ass more. Go. Oh! Poppycock. This isn't fun. Get out of my way, Diglett. You're only level 15. What are you doing in my way? You're stupid. Remove yourself from my sight. God damn it, really? I hate the encounter rate right down here. It's good for training, but nothing else. You'd think the only way to walk back would be less tedious. As far as Pokemon encounters go. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, another 15 fucking Diglett. I think it's the same Diglett hunting me. In which case, Ice Beam. Have a nice day. You asked for it. You know you wanted it, otherwise you wouldn't have kept coming after me. Well, that's I. Oh, I was about to say, like, well, that's ironic. I kill him and everything goes away. Is he back for revenge? No, it's his older brother. Unless he gained levels from getting his ass kicked. Damn, my face. But we're out. And now I just get to cut my way down to Pallet Town. Good times we're ahead by all. Yeah, we can hike the rest of the way, why the hell not? What's funny is the Viridian Forest takes up like no space on my items. <gasps> like on the map, it doesn't take up any space, it's just a building. Now I need to go to items. There we go. I'm onto something here. Viridian City. And soon. Route 1. Oh, the memories. But this is the only way to Cinnabar. And here we are. And we have to head south from here. Well, that's where I'm going to end the video. Because I think I have a medical issue I need to take care of. But aside from that, this has been Fender. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Take care, everyone.